There was a hole. Holy moly! G'day and welcome to another treasure hunting adventure. I am here with Hanny and John and they're wondering why we're staying in a backyard. Well, there's a reason to this madness. There is treasure in this backyard. I got in contact with the owner. Well, they got in contact with me and they've sold this house recently. They have one more week of owning it, but her granddad apparently buried treasure in this backyard somewhere. So we're gonna go around with our metal detectors and see if we can find it. What do you reckon, John? I think we'll find it. We're going to if find it? Here, we'll if find it's it. here, we're definitely going to find it. So it's quite a big backyard. As you can see, there's leaves everywhere, big trees. And I think those big trees are ticking off my treasure radar. So we're going to go check okay. them. Hanny? Yep. Who's going to find it? Me. Yeah, right. Dream <laughs> on. I'm going to get it. Come on. I'm going to show you my secret weapon over here. So I've got this coil. And then I've got a big coil, which covers more area and goes deeper. And then I've got this small coil, because around houses like this, you can get lots of like rusty metal, like nails and junk. And so you've got to get in the targets, the good ones between it. But I think here, we're probably going to find some coins. We're probably going to find some rings and some other sentimental pieces. And the owner is coming in about an hour. So let's see what we can, we can find before then. You ready? Yes, let's do it. I was about to say magnets away, but metal detectors away. Da -da -da -da. I'm actually really excited about this treasure hunting adventure to actually find something. John hasn't walked two feet and he's got a signal. Oh, hey, he's got one as well. <laughs> Definitely something there. Let me have a go. Too chop. On closer inspection of this signal, it looks a bit choppy, so it's probably going to be iron, so we'll leave that. All right, what have you got, Hanny? Should we try it with a pinpointer? Yep. Okay, yep. I'm going in with a pinpointer. Yeah, you can do it with a pinpointer. It's over here, still in the hole. Very sandy. Straight down. Oh, might be a pipe. What a chest. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, have you got it already? No, that <laughs> would be. What is that? Stone. Is it a stone? Mm -hmm. Let me just put it on there. But it is that. It is metal. Oh my gosh, we've got something down here already. Does it go all the way along? Concrete. Oh, That's shiny. the edge. Oh look, look at this Nikki. Look at the edge oh. there. You see that? That looks like the edge. Oh it's my shiny. gosh, have we actually found it in no. the first signal, Henny. Maybe that's the shit well. How do you call that? Yeah. The well to shoot. Well, let's see. It's not moving, is it? Oh my gosh, it's that like off the deer. Uh, oh. Still the bollock or something. Yeah, it's got like a thing around it, a bag or something. That's a bike, man. A what? That's, that's, that's the outside of a bike. The rim. You that's see? Right. Oh. No way. I thought I only found their magnet fishing. <laughs> <laughs> they stalked me everywhere and that can't be a bike down there. No, yeah, it's not but, a bike. You yeah, know. It's a bike tire. Yeah, it's the tire with the rim. But the rim what is, is totally this limits. here? What, why is this? There? Why is no, the rim it's flat? not. It's not. Oh. It goes in there. So there's something strange there. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's leave this until she gets here. We'll keep this going. Is the tire. Look at the tire. Yeah. yeah. You see it? I'm gonna ask her what, what she thinks it is when she gets here. <gasps> How is there a bike down there? They stalk us, Henny. <laughs> I don't like bikes. <laughs> I can see why. But it's like in concrete. It does seem curious, like someone's put something here intentionally. That is a tire of a bike for yeah. sure. Oh yeah, but here's the concrete. Yeah. Some more. Maybe they just used it as a frame to put the tre treasure in. First find was a bike. <laughs> I never would have imagined. Okay, well, let's keep leave that there and what? we'll ask her about it. Maybe she knows that there was a bike here. Yeah. Buried. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> it's so yeah. crazy. Yeah, I think it's for the for the bear put. John's got something, I got something. Henny's got something. Henny, have you got something as well? Alright, the three of us are digging. There's a lot of finds in this backyard. Hopefully one of the holes has treasure in it. There's only one way to find out. 
John, have you got something? Have you got yours there? Oh, there it is. It's gold. Yeah. What is it? Aluminium. Oh, it's just a piece of aluminium. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look at this tiny thing right there. Just a tiny button. Oh, okay. Hanny's got a good signal down there. Actually, no, don't go in there. I'm not too sure if there's an animal buried in there. She did tell me that uh, there might have been some animals buried there, so it might be a dog collar. Oh, it does sound pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, let's put an X on that spot and dig it later with her permission. So I don't want to dig up any does she know animal spot? pet, you know, any pets. She has it on the map, right? Yeah, she has it on the map. Yeah, I don't want to dig up any pets. Well, I might have something here. Can I dig this? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, you can dig it. Okay, you dig that one. <laughs> okay, I've got something here. Let's go. John's on fire, Hanny's on fire. We've all got signals. I'm loving this backyard. I think this one could be a piece of iron. I'm not 100% sure. What you got, John? I think it's nothing. Nothing? No. Okay. Let's check this one. Lots of beeping going on over. Oh, look at this. Is it a coin? What is it? You see this here? Oh, I've got our first treasure of the day, people. We've got a coin here. And it is... <laughs> treasure in the backyard. It's pre-Euro. I think it's five... Can I get a Dutchie over here for some translation? Okay, John, I need some Dutch translations. A Dutch ID on this one. Look at this coin. I think it's a guilder before the euros. It's a difficult one, uh -huh. huh? Or is it euro? Tell me it's... It looks more like 50 cent or something. Yeah, it, it must be a foreign coin. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not Dutch. It's not Dutch, yeah. Henny. But I cannot see... Second eyes on that one. I cannot really read it. We'll have to clean it up a bit and uh, get an ID on it because the Dutchies are stumped. Looks Five gulden. Five guilders. Five gulden, yeah. Five okay, gulden. there we yeah. go. I can see the five on there. Okay. Yeah, I can see the five on there. Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let me turn it over. It's looking a bit crusty. It's been down there for a while. But we've got our first signal and our first piece of treasure for the day. Actually, Henny, she might even let you keep this one. The other gold bars, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm loving this already. <laughs> Oh, John, that, that sounds really nice, mate. Pretty low. See, in backyards, they would have played games out here. Could have lost some rings, some necklaces, anything. There's probably going to be lots of junk as well, like bottle tops and things like that. That's why there's so many signals. Okay. It is out of the hole. What have you got? Oh, and there's also going to be some rubbish, like foil. Foil. We've been foiled. Okay. Cool. So these metal detectors, they tell the difference between like rusty metal, which is like uh, ferrous metal, and then you've got non-ferrous, which is your precious metals like silver, gold, and stuff like that. So hopefully we can dig out the treasure amongst the nails and stuff like that. We just have to go slow, but I can't wait if we get to dig up actual buried treasure. <laughs> Got a little button here it's got a nice little fancy design on there too if i just wipe it like that look at that so that is a really old button like vintage style on there cool little treasure i wonder if she knows anything about this i'm going to keep this aside and show it to her when she arrives maybe she says oh that sounds good maybe she said oh that was my button i lost it because she grew up here as a kid Oh yeah, that's nice the small one. version of the, the five guilders. This isn't, yeah, the, I just found the five guilder coin. 
And this one is from 1960. That's really cool. Yeah. Or 66, I think. Very cool, Dutch souvenir. Yeah. Okay? So that's a souvenir she can have from the house there. Yeah. Sounds like John's got something over there as well. Let's go see what John's got. See how I walked off with a coin from Henny? <laughs> that's a pro tip, that. <laughs> All right, I'll get the pinpointer out. Yeah, it's right over here on the side of the hole there. Oh, look at this. We've got a witchetty grub you've dug up. What? A witchetty grub. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's got teeth on him too. I wouldn't mess with him. All right, let's put him back in the ground, I think. Oh, that's it. That's it there. Oh, it's just some rusty copper. I mean, not copper. It's a crusty piece of aluminium. Yeah. All right. Keep digging. You have to dig everything. Um, if you find any treasure, give it to me. <laughs> I'll look after it. <laughs> we didn't know how big or small this treasure was, so we had to dig every target and cover every inch of this yard to make sure that we knew when we left, if this yard does have buried treasure, we will find it. The yard was quite big, there was a lot of ground to cover, so it wasn't for the faint-hearted, and it wasn't for Henny either. He tied, but we didn't. We dove under every bush, and we went through every corner, crevice, under every eave, in every edge of garden to dig out anything that gave a signal on the metal detector. Most of it is scrap, which is the case when you're digging around homes, but we're here today to find the treasure amongst the trash. Just like finding a needle in a haystack, only a lot, lot funner. A ring! You've got a ring? Looks oh. like a ring. That's that's definitely yeah. a ring, bro. Definitely got the, a ring. It's on the... Oh, my gosh. Anything could be here. You know, the Romans were in this area, so, you know, that is actual treasure. I wonder if we can get an inscription on that later. Let's clean that up in a minute. Oh, yeah, there you go, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean that up later, but come over here, man. I've got some gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah, gold coin. I've hey. only just seen the coin. Where is it? Let me just get my detector again. Oh, look. Look at that. Where? Oh, ah, no. No. How is that possibly that shiny? What was it dropped yesterday? Oh, my gosh. I thought I had a gold coin there. No. Well, it looks cool. Oh, it's gold. Yeah, it definitely looks gold. Which, did, did she plant that there like yesterday? Look how shiny that is. It's like it hasn't been down there for 24 hours. Oh, okay. We might have to get a close up on that and um, see if we can see any inscription on the outside. But yeah, like like the rest of the treasure, Henny, give it to me <laughs> and I'll, <laughs> I'll take care of it. Can't believe that. Thought I had a gold coin. Well, let's have a swing around this big tree here because that's going to be a spot. Look at this one. It's going to be here for at least 100 years. Perfect spot to bury treasure and come back and find it later. John's got something in there. Is that a signal, John? Oh, it sounds pretty good. Right behind this big tree. Well, this one's interesting because it's so deep down. Should I get it with this? Hang on, there's so many roots. I'm just going to try and get it with this, John. Oh, was that it there? Was that it there? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's it. Lead, okay, gives a great signal, but unfortunately, even though it's not rusty, doesn't mean it's not treasure. There's something big here. Definitely something big here. What an adventure we're having today, huh? We're not done with the tree yet. John, you can come and dig my hole now. <laughs> See if we can get it. I think this one's actually quite deep down. Hey, Henny, you want to come and dig for me? Why? Huh? Why? What do you mean, why? Because I don't want to. Is it big? Yeah, I've got a big signal down here. Big hole? Yeah, I've got a big hole. It's right by the tree. This could be the hole. I'll dig for you. Okay. What is it? Did you have a pinpointer? Oh, I did have a pinpointer. I've lost a pinpointer now. 
Is it I'm having some mic issues, so I'm going to have to narrate this part. But as we were digging the hole, Mira turns up, who is the owner of the house. So we introduce her to Hanny and John. And then we show her some of the finds that we've dug out of the hole, including the ring and a couple of coins, as well as the nice silver button. Mira was interested to see the coins and the artifacts, but she was more interested to see the hole that we're digging beside the big tree, because that's where she thought the treasure was buried. Now, her grandfather has passed, but had alluded that things were buried in the backyard, which is why she invited us over in the first place. So this hole was very interesting. And then we told her about the other hole, which Hanny found at the very start of this video, where he dug up and it looked like it was a bike wheel. So this was the last chance Mira would get to discover if there was any treasures buried by a grandfather in the backyard. So she gave us permission to dig out the bike, all the bike, whatever it was, wheel, and see what was underneath it. So we are super excited. And I am so gutted that the mic stopped working at this point because the atmosphere was electric. It was so much fun and things are about to get very, very exciting here. So John and I are digging to remove as much of the surface area as we can to see what it is and how big it is down there. The soil is just nice and sandy, but the area of this house is actually located next to a forest and it's an ancient forest, so anything could be buried here. It might not even be something that a grandfather buried. It could be something even older than that. So we're really excited. And after digging for some time, we've exposed the top of the bicycle wheel and it looks like it's been made into some sort of lid. Did he have enough to fill, fill a, you know, 50 to... gallon barrel? Just lift the top off. Who knows what's going to be underneath it? And the best part is that Mira has no idea that this existed in her backyard. So after dusting it off, you can see the bike wheel and the bike tire is still on it. And now we're going to get the opportunity to take it off and see if this is the spot where her granddad has buried treasure in this house. So she's excited. I'm getting the shovel and I've just wedged it under there and wow, it comes loose to expose a hole under it. There is a hole. It is a massive hole. Okay, I'm clearing this out. We're going next level. <laughs> At this point, our imagination starts running wild, but we have a lot of energy after digging the whole backyard. We have got more energy than the start of the day to dig the rest of this lid out and see what's under it. Yeah. Would you like to do the honors? <laughs> no, you can do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Okay, John. You want to lift it from there, it's heavy. Holy moly! What is it? Septic thing? It is so deep. Has anyone got a torch? Give me a... Once again, this is a total surprise to Mira. She has had this house for 40 years and had no idea this was here. So we get a torch, we stick it in there, and it looks to be an old type of septic tank. Now, it also looks to be empty, which is disappointing, but this is super cool to uncover this hidden secret in the backyard, but it won't be the last one we uncover today because there is one more surprise. But wow, what a cool surprise to find in your backyard. And it's also quite deep. It's about four meters, so 12 feet deep. So it's been there for a long time. It hasn't been used because if you look down it you can see it's dry down there so we are wondering you know if there's something just below the surface so I've got the perfect solution for that if you guys have been watching my videos earlier you would know I have a giant magnet with me and that's exactly what I'm going to throw down the bottom of this well so it's magnets away so I'm pulling out my giant gold Bondi magnet if you want to get one of these there's a link in the description below but I'm going to throw it down there just to see what we can find because Mira said her grandfather was in the army it could be in those metal boxes that they had so if I drop it down there and it hits a metal box just under the surface. It's going to pull it right up. It's a super strong magnet. And uh, yeah, I am just jumping out of my skin doing this. So as I drop it down, I'm waiting for it to just zap onto something big. So let's do it. Let's lower the magnet down and see what we can get. Is this not the best treasure hunting adventure ever? I love this stuff. So I'm lowering the magnet. I'm waiting for something to zap onto it from the bottom. So hopefully we can find something, but it hits the bottom. It's just starting to drag and I'm dragging it around, waiting for something to come up. I'll be happy with anything. Who knows? It might have been an old well. I could get some knives. I could get some cutlery or some old artifacts. But as I drag it around, I'm not really feeling anything heavy. So I'm pulling it back up and I'm going to have a look at the top of the magnet to see what it reveals. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we've got anything. But that's not the end of this adventure. We still have to dig the other hole behind the big tree. And maybe, just maybe, that's where the hidden treasure is buried. But there's only one way to find out. So let's get digging. 
listen to the sound of that metal detector scream. A metal detector is only going to be that loud when there's something massive down there. So whatever it is, it's not going to be small. So after the last hole, we are very excited to see what's down here. So there's lots of roots in this area because it's right by the trees. You can see those big roots we're trying to cut through there. We've got a little hand tool to cut through, but it is hard work. You certainly didn't want anyone to find it. Put a tile on it. If I hide something. Well, yeah, it helps. Finding it back better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he might might not have thought about a metal detector. If he puts a stick in the ground and hits the tile, then he knows. 35 years ago, metal detecting was not a thing. Yeah, I know. But like any treasure, it doesn't come easy. But look at this, we've found a marble, so someone's lost that. That's a cool little artifact we've found. But that's not the treasure we're after. We are going deeper and deeper. So I'm digging, John's digging, and we're just taking turns. We are sweating up a storm, but we are getting there. All the while, Hanny is there holding the torch for us. We couldn't have done it without you, Hanny. But we finally get to the bottom and have a look at this. You can see that round edge there and it's got metal on it, and on the inner bit of it is actually concrete. There's an edge? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we need another. Now, I don't know whether to laugh or cry up here, but what we've found at the bottom of all these roots after hours of digging is that we've found exactly what Henny found. It is a bike wheel encased in concrete, and that means there's gonna be something underneath it. But we dug and dug and dug, and we just couldn't get it. So unfortunately, the treasure beat us today, but I think there could be something down there. I mean, at the end of the day, I still love this adventure, and I hope you did, and if you did, subscribe, and we'll see you soon for another one. But wow, the treasure beat us today. <laughs> Still had fun though. You!